This could be one of the biggest traps to form for Bitcoin in a long time. And I want you guys to be aware of what is happening now. So let's jump into it without wasting any time. Please remember, nothing in my videos is financial advice. You need to go out and do your own research. And if you do want a new exchange, there are tons of deposit bonuses down there in the description. And if we look at this, guys, look at this. Again, the mass inflows for the Bitcoin ETF timed the top absolutely perfectly, just like it has done every other time. So guys, go and look at the data of the mass inflows into the Bitcoin ETF, put those onto your chart and pay attention to when it happens again, because you could have timed this top right here. You could have taken some profits like we did live on this channel. And you could right now maybe put those profits back in. You could go out and buy yourself something nice. You could do whatever you want with those profits. But this is one of the best indicators we've found so far, along with the moon phases. The moon phases, bear moon came in again right at the top. And we have since pulled back again, guys, uh, about 7%. And we knew it was going to happen, all right? We knew it was going to happen, so yeah. Anyway, so we got moon phases, we got the inflows, we got mass resistance. So using those three pieces of data, we basically figured out that we were not going to go higher and we were in fact due a correction. Copy that as well or couple that as well with the Bitcoin exchange liquidations. And we knew that the whole market was actually long. But guys, look at this. On the seven day, we now have shorts piling into the market. On the 30 day, we have the shorts building. The longs are still in the lead, but the shorts are building. We wanna see this, right, this chart, on the 30 day, and I'll be very, very bullish. Right now, I'm relatively bullish or getting there with this seven day chart, but because this was the opposite, right? We had the opposite to this, and on the 30 day, we had really, really low, almost no short positions. We knew that the market was due a correction. Now, the trap that I'm speaking about, right? The trap that I want you guys to be aware of, and this is what destroys most traders in this market is the simple fact that right now we are having a bullish retest, a bullish retest of our resistance. Will this hold? I don't know, guys. I don't know. So another trap is falling into believing that anyone else can tell you what will happen next because we do not know. All we can do is go on our experience in this market. So right now, when we first pulled back, I was hoping that we would hold this region of the 69,400. We lost that. We are now trying to hold either this resistance or this previous high. This previous high coming down to retest that and then bouncing off it would be incredibly bullish. And that is something that's very possible while not breaking this resistance or what was a resistance, now a support with a uh, of the body of the candle. So the body of the candle might still close above this, but we may have a wick that goes all the way down to this zone of liquidity. Now, this zone of liquidity coincides with this resistance plus this pullback. What do we know about these pullbacks? This is where people get involved in their trades. So they have their stop losses, their liquidations, emotional capitulation that all sit in this region between 66.4 and this support at 63.9. So we could have pullbacks and liquidation candles that head all the way into these zones. In fact, I would still argue that as long as we hold $60,000, we are still in a longer term uptrend here. So that sort of motion, or even if we come down to as low as there and head up, it still could be argued that that is a higher low, depending on how bad things get. Now, we do have the elections coming, and I know people are preparing for this. For me personally, I already have my trades open, right? I'm not opening any more trades right now, but if you do want a place to trade, right? I have a link to BTCC down there in the description. This is one of the best bonuses I've managed to negotiate so far. It's 10% bonus on your first time deposit plus SVIP1. So that gives you 40% lower trading fees. You get treated like a VIP on the exchange. You can trade of up to 500x leverage and there is no VPN and no KYC necessary whatsoever. And with this deposit bonus of up to $10,000, there are no restrictions on leverages that you can use or the coins. All right. So Head down to the description, grab that bonus, get yourself another exchange to add to your diversification of exchanges. And let's move on from this and look at the elections because we have the elections coming this week. It's very important and we need to just accept that this is going to have a, 
a big effect on the market, right? So the, it's crazy how correlated Bitcoin's price action is to Trump's election odds. Maybe it really is as simple as Trump win, Bitcoin pump, Kamala win, Bitcoin dump. The way I see it, right? So we can see on these different various markets, just like the one on Margex, that Trump is According to uh, crypto enthusiasts, has a 60% chance to win. Harris is at 39. If you do want to bet, you can uh, sign up to Margex in the link in the description. And then you could bet $10,000, right? And then you could win $5,000 if Trump wins, right? Or if Harris wins, you could win $11,000. So it's pretty cool. But, but Trump winning is apparently bullish. Now, I wanna tell you my thoughts on this because it might be a little bit different to what you're used to. My thoughts are simple. If Trump wins, this will have already been priced into the market, all right? So we may get a big push to the upside, but we will also get extreme volatility because people will go long on the news rather than going long preempting the news, all right? So we're already long in our positions preempting the news. Hopefully it's good. If not, stop losses in place or just accepting the downside and DCAing in. Those are the options that we have. But people who don't trade like that, they actually trade... Uh, in the reverse of how you should. So a lot of people trade long at resistance and short at support. That's what people are doing. They'll be going short here, which we can see plain as day. Let's go on the daily chart. Look, look, look at all of these shorts. People are going short on the daily. People are going short right here as well. Tons of shorts piling into the market because Bitcoin is at support. All right, so it's simple. This is what happens time in and time out. So the way I see it is if Trump does win, right? The market will pump, but people will start to go long in the pump. They'll make a little bit of money. They won't take any profits and then they'll get annihilated on a liquidation wick to the downside. So Trump wins, we pump up, annihilation to the downside, head up again. But the problem is, is on that annihilation to the downside, everyone will think the crypto market is dead again. Everyone will flush down and then the price moves up again. Now this is Bitcoin, all right? Bitcoin has basically been up only. And I know this was a scary time, but it's still been up only when you zoom out, right? For all this time. Altcoins, however, have been a lot worse, right? Altcoins have been red and basically down only. Well, altcoins have been a problem, guys, and they are holding back a lot of people's portfolios. But if you're in altcoins that you believe, if we do have a bull run, altcoins will run. So just take some profits as they run because remember 90% of people or probably 99% of people will be left holding the bag into the next bear market. So don't be one of them. But if Harris if Harris wins, Camilla Harris wins, right? I do believe there will be an initial dump, but it actually might be not as bad as what people think. At least that's how I'm speculating on this. We may have a liquidation push to the downside, but remember the opposite of what if Trump will happen will be that the market will start to short heavily. Then again, if the market pushes upwards, most people lose money. So that's normally what I notice in this market. Of course, I don't know for sure what will happen, but that's what I noticed, and that's my opinion on the market. Now, I wanted to also show you this. The first day of July, Bitcoin sold off. The first days of August, Bitcoin sold off. The first days of September, Bitcoin sold off. The first days of October, Bitcoin sold off. The first days of November, Bitcoin is currently selling off. So don't let this shake you out because it's happened every single month, right? Every single month. And always there is a dump right before the US elections. We can see here, Crypto Rover posted this, down 10%. Down 6% and down 6% this year so far. So everything that's happening is completely normal. And we can see here when September and October have been green, Bitcoin has continued going up for the rest of the year about 31%. That would push Bitcoin to about $90,000 by the end of the year. And guys, this is exactly what we were tracking with the months prior to uh, October, right? We were saying that, look, every time there's been a green September, October has been green. And guess what? It happened again. But at the start of October, when everything was red, everyone told you that the market was dead and it was over. And that's exactly what's happening right now again in November, all right? So don't let them shake you out of the market. You may want to think about how exposed you are to the altcoin market or if you're in altcoins you're actually willing to hold because if you are, it's perfectly fine. You dollars got cost average into that. But if you're not in coins and you're very panicked right now because a lot of my investments are down, a lot of them are down, but this is part and parcel. I've been through this. This is my third bull market and everything that's happened is completely normal so far, guys. Completely normal. Now, 
Will it be the same as last time? Will we have a massive blow off top? I don't know. But all I can do is simply prepare myself for that potential outcome. Because if it happens, we'll make a lot of money. If it doesn't happen, I have my uh, uh, safety nets in place like the fact that I've been taking profits throughout this entire run, getting most of my initial investments back out. So if we go up, I print money. If we go down, I kind of just stay <laughs> in an equal an equal playing field, all right? So that's how I try and do it. And that's why I don't think that I can outperform the market. I don't think I'm more intelligent than the market. And when I see profits, I simply take them. That's why I closed out some of my Margex trade uh, the other day, right? We closed out some of this trade, actually half of the position we closed out and we did it live here on the channel and we may have another opportunity. Now we used that we got out $5,000 from $300. Then we used a hundred of those dollars to open a trade up here in case we bounced. We didn't bounce. So now I'm going to be looking for another panicked moment. Now, if we lose 68, we'll probably have a panic wick to the downside. And I would probably try and open a position around this region, right? Around this, another hundred X long. I'm putting my chips on the table to bet that we bounce. If we don't bounce, I lose that hundred dollars, but I understand that that's the risk if I'm going to play with such crazy leverage. The other side of the coin is I also open the low leverage positions. Where are they? Sorry, here. I also open our low leverage positions here. Say is now in a loss of $800. We're down to $5,000 of profit. This was up at $17,000. Most of our trades are getting near to break even. Sui still up significantly. But again, guys, this is the reason why we took profits live on the channel at the top, all right? We have to protect our downside because we never know what will happen next. And then using that money, we can also add to our positions if we want to. So if you want to do something similar, again, there is a link to BTCC down there in the description, along with a whole host of other exchanges down there. There's over $30,000 of bonuses in my description waiting for you. But BTCC is the only one that will give you this VIP tier and 40% off your trading fees if you use my link and my link only. So hopefully you want to check those out. If you want to come and join the Patreon where everyone talks to each other, uh, you see what I'm doing doing on the back end of this market. You can also see my team of traders, what kind of positions they're taking, that sort of stuff, and then talk to like-minded people. There is also a link to that as the Patreon down there in the description, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.